Ladies and gentlemen, today I will be making two videos on this YouTube channel. So subscribe and stay tuned for the next one. One of them, which is the one we're looking at right now, is Bitcoin and one of them is on altcoins. And the question is the same for both topics, right? I'm splitting it up for a reason because the question, the answer to the question for altcoins is actually a lot different than the answer to the question for Bitcoin. And the question is, when would be a macro justifiable time to buy. Okay, I, I use those words carefully. I'm not telling you when would be the time to buy because it really depends on your personal decision making, depends on your personal risk tolerance, and everyone has a slightly different answer to that question depending on their situations. What I'm saying is I'm looking at the objective macro structures, right? Objectively, Bitcoin dominance, it goes up, it goes down, it represents shifts in the market environment. I'm looking at macro structures such as the channel formation that has encompassed for the last 216 days of price action. And I'm asking, based on these macro structures, right, when will shifts occur that prompt different macro decision makes decisions, I should say. Because macro decisions, of course, need macro confirmations. Macro decisions and shifts in your macro planning, your macro strategies require shifts in the macro evidences, right? So that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at it from a more objective point of view because I can't give you personalized financial advice, both legally and also it's just not possible when I'm speaking to thousands of people. But I can give you a good idea of what the macro looks like and what the macro environment is, right? Whether it favors Bitcoin investing right now, whether it favors altcoin investing right now, that's what we'll be looking at over the next two videos. So let's start start out with the one we have today. When would be a good time to enter Bitcoin based on macro? When will, basically what I'm asking is, when will an actual breakout be confirmed? And a lot of people, you know, like I mentioned, are getting ahead of themselves here, right? We've seen up its price action on Bitcoin. It's great to see Bitcoin's testing the top of the channel formation, but we still are in, unfortunately, the same channel formation. It's the same channel formation we were in back in March when we first reached it is the exact same structure we're in right now. There's been no macro shift yet. So I'm telling you to hold your horses a little bit and look at this objectively. When will that breakout occur? Let's look into it. Starting out here with the Bitunix exchange before we get into it, a 15% trading fee discount on every single buy and sell you make on this exchange ever will be available to you if you simply sign up with my referral link down below. It takes 30 seconds to sign up. You can sign up from anywhere in the world. It's a global non-KYC exchange. It's an exchange, by the way, that's never been hacked before, that has hundreds of trading pairs and already has very low trading fees. Again, getting them even lower with my referral link down below, 15% trading fee discount check it out help out the channel and help out yourself by getting on a good exchange let's get into the content and by the way guys for a fun drinking game every time i use that word macro in the introduction take a shot because i said it about 15 times unfortunately i'm going to say it about 15 more times in this video when will the breakout occur i'm not talking about you know what day will occur i'm talking about in terms of price okay what price does bitcoin need to reach for a breakout of this macro descending channel formation to actually occur of course, as we mentioned, macro decisions require macro evidences. Therefore, it's only upon the macro breakout that you would be making a macro decision if you are someone who is trusting the macro. There you go. Take seven more shots. Now, there's a few nuances with this channel formation. First and foremost, we can't just draw it in any particular way and trust it outright. Like we can draw it like this. We can draw it. We, this is, in my view, the most reasonable way to draw it based on TA with the most perfect retest, etc. And under this way of drawing it, we did technically break out very briefly above 68K. It was very short lived. Uh, if you look at the shorter term charts, you can see again, very short lived, clearly wasn't a complete macro breakout, just a short term move above it, just a fake out. There's a few problems here. Like we need to draw this in a conservative manner because if we are waiting for this channel formation to break before making major decisions about our investments, we need to be sure it's actually broken before we jump into the market. We can't just look at the price go 100 USD above the breakout line and say, okay, everything's all good. Deploy everything into Bitcoin now. That's a stupid idea. Of course, we need actual conservative confirmation. So we can adjust our, our entry formats, adjust our standards, for accepting what is on what is not a breakout in regards to this structure to make it more reasonable and conservative so we don't get faked out, we don't get trapped. Because we understand, unfortunately, this is a very large formation. It's the biggest channel formation Bitcoin's ever seen. 
And when you see uh, channel formations or any sort of structure going on for very long periods of time, they're very prone to fake outs, okay? Short-term price action doesn't really mean anything to them anymore. We can't really be entering based on one daily candle, given the fact this structure encompasses 216 daily candles. It's just not rational. And, you know, we've seen fake outs before. We saw uh, fake outs to the upside back here in July or June. We saw fake outs to the downside on three occasions throughout Ju July all the way through to September. And so any, you know, any completely unconfirmable price action to the upside could very well be a fake out once again here. So there's a few things we can do. First and foremost, we can draw it in the most conservative way possible, which is a way in which we include the fake out wick we saw here in June. We act as though that is a valid resistance zone. Let's go ahead and do that. We bring the whole channel and shift it upwards. And this would make the breakout point for this channel formation, if it was to happen today, around 69,000. Now this works for a couple of reasons. It works because that means the shorter term fake out that we saw just earlier today was not actually a fake out at all. It was just a uh, regular price action within the ascending wedge we have here in short term. We'll discuss that ascending wedge more in a, section, in a second here. Uh, another thing it does for us is it also includes the 2021 all time high. So if we bring the breakout point to 69,000, we draw the channel conservatively. That means that we won't be entering Bitcoin until the 2021 all-time high of 69,000 is broken either, which we know is a valid resistance zone because we know that on the same weekly candle that we reached all-time highs, on the very same weekly candle we reached all-time highs, that was the same weekly candle, right? That closed right on top and led to a rejection for a significant period of time from the 2021 all-time high. So the 2021 all-time high at 69K, in my view, is a necessary zone that we need to break on something like a weekly candle close, by the way, not just short term, on something like a weekly candle close in order to confirm that not only the channel is broken, but the vague resistance level as a whole is both broken for Bitcoin to move to the upside. It is not enough for Bitcoin to just move above 68K. It's not even enough for Bitcoin to move above 69K. We need to be seeing you know, sustained price action, preferably with a volume surge, a significant volume surge at the breakout and a resistance support flip above that level and breaking highs after doing so. Only then can we be actually confident that the entire structure is broken. You know, this is a channel, again, going back to what I said before, where we have seen significant fake outs. We saw a fake out of, you know, close to 2,000 USD there, a fake out on this occasion of close to 7,000 US dollars you know, big fake outs here left, right, said we can't be getting trapped. We need to be, again, if we're talking about macro confirmations, we're talking about macro decision making, you need to wait for full macro confirmation. And if that means you buy higher than what you'd like to buy at, that's the price you're paying. Again, you have to remember, this is an abnormal circumstance. We've never seen a channel this big. With a huge channel like this that spans over half a year, if you're making any decision based on intra-daily candle price action, you are jumping the gun way too soon and putting yourself at massive risk of being completely decimated by the market when it rolls over, if it does. Because I'll say this right now, you know, although Bitcoin is very clearly in a position of strength, although Bitcoin has a great little upwards trend here with higher highs and higher lows consistently, although Bitcoin has flipped the center line of his channel perfectly, if we flipped to the daily chart, for example, we see Bitcoin very clearly flipping the center line of this channel formation, the dotted white line right there with a double bottom formation and a break of the neckline of that double bottom formation and a higher high. Although we've seen all of these things, okay? What we have right now on short term is actually not particularly good. It's a ascending wedge formation. It's a pattern of exhaustion at major resistance, resistance that has confined Bitcoin downwards for over 200 days, right? But very well could roll over into another short term correction. Now, I don't think that correction will go very far. I think we are macro bullish. I do expect a breakout of this channel formation, right? I am leaning bullish until the evidence suggests otherwise. And my invalidation zone for that bullishness is basically the center line right here. Bitcoin breaks below the center line and breaks these lows at around 59,000. I would actually be flipping bearish on Bitcoin, right? Not fully bearish yet, but I would be very much pessimistic. There's no reason for us to do that. We need to maintain the macro upwards trend. You know, we can see a short-term correction, certainly down to something like 63K, maybe even down to something like 60K, but anything below that's getting very, very dangerous. The point is right now on this move as we speak, I mean, the strength for short-term on Bitcoin isn't really quite there yet. Again, we're still below the breakout point. 
And within our move below the breakout point, we're still within uh, something like an ascending wedge formation. I'm not going to say it is perfect, but it's something like that. Uh, we have, you know, what seems to be like bearish divergence forming on the hourly chart RSI as well. So we're not really in the clear yet at all. Uh, and if we're talking about when Bitcoin will be in the clear, it's much better to be more conservative than more aggressive because we're talking about a structure that is abnormal to begin with. So at least 69,000, right? At least breaking 69K on something like a weekly candle with, with strong volume, preferably a resistant support flip. That would be, in my view, the bare minimum to be confident that the channel itself is broken. Right. And hence, to be confident in any major macro buys and any major macro decisions, that would be, in my view, something like the bare minimum. We can also go into extensive analysis on something like the DXY. You know, the DXY reverse correlated to Bitcoin hasn't broken down yet. We can talk about that all we want. And of course, you know, we would see extra confirmation if we saw the DXY breaking down. Uh, but realistically, I think the way I would play it is I would be disregarding it when it comes to entry. But if it broke upwards, if it broke this line on the weekly chart RSI, if it broke its highs right here, that would be a sign for me to actually get out of the market once more and wait for more confirmation. So I wouldn't necessarily be using it as a confirmation for entry, but I would be using it as a potential stop loss for my positions after entry. And we'll discuss all of that a bit more uh, as we approach you know, what's going to happen here over the next couple of weeks. But that's my Bitcoin video for you know how you would go around uh, buying Bitcoin, how you'd go around confirming a breakout. Unfortunately, there's no specific, you know, I can't really say, oh, we need to get this specific time frame close above this specific level because this channel, unfortunately, is not really identifying with a specific time frame or a specific level. We have to be a little bit vague. And when it comes to being vague, you have to lean more conservative because you don't really know exactly what you're looking for. So you're just looking for a bunch of small little things, uh, a bunch of small little conventional TA breakout point, uh, you know, data. So that's what we're looking for, guys. Thank you for watching that Bitcoin video, altcoin one coming later today. Again, I really appreciate if you go and check out the Bitunix exchange. My links are down below for the Bitunix exchange. It literally takes 15 seconds to sign up with my link. Email address and password, you're done. Uh, and to get that 15% trading fee discount, that's what you need to do. It's a great exchange. I use it personally. Go ahead and use it if you're interested. I'll mention as well the VIP group on Telegram. Uh, as you can see on the screen here, we have a PDF document with 78.32% win rate over two years of trading on VIP. So I post my trading signals in there four times a week with buying zones, stop loss zones, targets, everything you need to trade them. And with those trades, you've got a 78% win rate over two years. You've got a group chat you're getting access to as well. You can't go wrong. Check that out on Telegram if you're interested. And the last thing I'll mention, guys, before we end the video is the Crypto Academy's Become a Trader 10 Unit course, which is on sale right now. If you want to learn how to trade, you can do so right here. We don't just throw content at you. We give you worksheets. We give you slideshows. We give you videos. We give you diagrams, data points, everything you need to learn how to trade is there for visual learners, practical learners, everything. It's on sale right now. So check it out. Thanks guys. Have a good one.